write the balanced reaction for the complete combustion of ethane or C2H6. Ethane is an example of what we call a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbons are compounds composed of only two elements, hydrogen and carbon, so hydrocarbon. The problem says that the hydrocarbon undergoes combustion. What do we mean by combustion? Combustion is reaction with oxygen gas. So hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen gas. And the problem says the combustion is complete. So when you say complete combustion of a hydrocarbon, there are only two products, carbon dioxide and water. So any hydrocarbon that undergoes complete combustion forms carbon dioxide and water. So our hydrocarbon is ethane C2H6 plus oxygen gas is O2. The products are carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O. So we need to balance this reaction. We need to look for three elements to balance, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So the numbers must be balanced on both the left and the right sides. I will give you a tip in balancing combustion reactions. Balance first carbon, then hydrogen, and lastly, balance oxygen. So let's start with carbon. How many carbons on the left side? We have two. On the right side, we have only one. So how do we balance carbon? We put the coefficient 2 on carbon dioxide because 2 times 1, that's equal to 2. So now you have two carbons on the right side, therefore carbon is already balanced. Let's move on to hydrogen. We have six hydrogens on the left side, and on the right side we have two. So how do we balance hydrogen? We put the coefficient three on water, because three times two that's equal to 6. Therefore, hydrogen is already balanced. And lastly, we need to count oxygen. So on the left side, we have two oxygens. On the right side, we have 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 3 times 1, that's 3. So 4 plus 3, that's a total of 7 oxygens on the right side. So how do we balance oxygen? So we need to multiply 7 halves on O2 or 7 over 2. Because 7 over 2 times 2 that's equal to 7. So oxygen is already balanced. And since all elements are balanced, therefore the reaction is already balanced. However, some professors want whole numbers as coefficients. Some do not want fractions. So how do we get rid of fractions? What we need to do is you multiply the entire reaction by 2. So what happens? So let's start with C2H6. 2 times 1, the coefficient of C2H6 is 1. 2 times 1, that's equal to 2. So 2C2H6 plus 2 times 7 halves, that's equal to 7. So 7 O2. 2 times 2, 
the coefficient of carbon dioxide is 2. That's equal to 4. So 4 CO2 plus 2 times 3, that's equal to 6. So 6 H2O. Now let's quickly check if this is really balanced. So let's count CHO on the left side and CHO on the right side. So how many carbons on the left side? We have 2 times 2, that's 4. On the right side, 4 times 1, that's also 4. So carbon is balanced. For hydrogen, we have 2 times 6, that's 12 on the left side. And on the right side, we have 6 times 2, that's also 12. So hydrogen is already balanced. For oxygen, on the left side, we have 7 times 2, that's 14. And on the right side, we have 4 times 2, that's 8, plus 6 times 1, that's 6, which is also equal to 14. Therefore, oxygen is already balanced. So the answer to this question is this one. 2C2H6 plus 7O2 forms 4CO2 plus 6H2O. And this is the balanced reaction for the complete combustion of ethane.